welcome to a live watercolor tutorial. This is part two of my watercolor birch tree tutorial. Um, I had technical difficulties with my first one, so we are continuing this tutorial. You, you can find the um, first part in the description of this video. Um, yeah, so let's continue on with this tutorial. So let me straighten this up. If you're watching live, feel free to say hi. If you're watching the replay, feel free to say hi in the chat box. Um, if you're watching live, guys, I'm so, so sorry. I don't know what happened um, to my live stream. Ugh, technical difficulties. So, <laughs> Sydney, hi, Sydney, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, so anyways, let's continue on okay so we were painting this section here um and then i was moving on to this last background section right here on the edge so let's do that hi julie hi sarah <laughs> um okay hopefully we don't have any more issues with <laughs> with this live stream Fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm wetting this entire section like I did the other ones with my size eight brush. Okay. And yeah. Here we go. All right, and then I'm going to take this brush that I used for green. And I'm taking a sap, gre sap green and adding it down here. Okay, and then I'm cleaning that brush and grabbing some leaf grain. Okay, and then my yellow, my yellow brush that I use for yellow. <laughs> I like to work with multiple brushes. I find that to be easiest and it helps me like paint quicker. And now I'm adding yellow. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. So now we are going to do the second layer in the background because these here are pretty much dry. So the second layer will help us kind of uh, make these colors more vibrant and it'll just um, add more to our background. Patty says, I'm new and want to begin watercoloring. Have never learned how. Well, that's exciting. Um, in case you don't know, I do have a whole entire playlist here on YouTube for beginners. So if you go to my channel page, you'll be able to find that playlist. Um, I bet you'll find it helpful. Okay, so we'll start over here now. Um, you, you can use the wet and wet method again if you want to. I I don't think I will. I'm going to use the, the wet on dry method. So to do this, um, I'm going to have a brush that I use exclusively for blending. So this is uh, my, what I like to say, my blending technique. So I'm gonna take this brush I haven't used yet. And that will be my brush that will just be for blending. And okay, so this brush here has green in it. So I'm grabbing some sap green and then this brush, I'm adding some water to it, dabbing it on my 
paper towel to soak up the excess water in it. Um, and then I'll use this to blend. So I'm gonna apply green, making sure I don't put my hand here where it's wet paint. <laughs> I've done that before. Oh, it's not very fun to deal with. All right, I might, I might have to like turn my paper a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to add some green like this. Okay, take that brush and I am blending with just some water in this brush. Kind of blending this in the background. Actually, I don't like this brush to blend with. I don't know why. I'm gonna switch to my other brush, my size eight round. Yeah, this is better. I'm really trying to be careful to not paint the trees. I've already done that. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to be careful to not paint on your trees. Okay. And I'm going to add some more sap green here. Yeah. And as we paint the second layer, we're going to work around the trees, kind of help refine the edge of the trees. All right, then I will switch to this brush that I used for yellow. Um, Kat Barrett says, love your live tutorials. Watch you first and we'll paint later. Yay, I'm glad you like them. Yvonne says, got you back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> uh. I was really sad when I realized my live stream like ended for some reason. Very sad. Okay, so yeah, I'm just kind of adding some yellow down here, a little bit into that green. And yeah. I'm going to switch to my blending brush, my brush that, again, just has water in it, kind of blend these two a little bit. Okay, and then we'll move on to this next section. Hannah says, I fiddled with my internet for a bit before I saw it was your connection that dropped. My service is really bad here because of the mountains yeah i i'm i've been having some issues with the youtube app on my phone so i i should probably uninstall the app before i go live again and like yeah i need to do that so so that we don't have this problem again next time it's just kind of like I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just taking sap green here with my size four brush, basically painting all down here with it because I want the bottom to be um, dark. Then as I paint, I'm trying to refine my trees. as you can see here it just looks really like jaggy so I'm really trying to refine it paint over the areas where I accidentally painted on my tree kind of fix it okay and um I'm gonna take my size Eight round brush now with just water and blend this up like so okay cleaning my green brush then I'm grabbing some leaf green from Holbein and I'm adding some of that over here Okay, 
switching to my um, blending brush, blending that leaf green into my dry layer, and then into the sap green a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab a sap green again and add that kind of along some of the trees just to help the trees stand out more because these trees are going to be light. So if you add like dark, a dark color around something that is light colored, it really helps make it pop. Okay, and then I am grabbing yellow, adding that at the top. And more down. Okay. On to the next one, although I kind of want to add um, Payne's Gray down here. So before we move on, um, I'm grabbing some Payne's Gray and I'm just going to kind of dab that at the very bottom, maybe a little bit up. Okay, and this is my blending brush, my brush that just has water, kind of blending that up slightly. All right. Yeah, and this area is messed up. <laughs> so there's that, but we'll, we'll figure that out later. Um, all right. So again, grabbing sap green. Okay, and then I'm taking my blending brush, blending this up into the dry. Then I'm grabbing some leaf green. So um, yeah, let, let me know guys in the chat box how your painting is coming along. And then this is my blending brush. I'm just kind of blending this up into the dry and then down into the sap green. And then I'm taking yellow. Okay. I might add um, a little bit of green up here into the yellow. There. And then taking some paints gray, adding it down here. and a little bit along this tree. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of sap green here. And 
blend. We're almost halfway done. Yay. Hannah. Hi, Hannah. She says, hello, evening. How's life? Life is pretty good. Yeah, I hope everything is good with you. How are you? Okay. Um, and then again, I'm taking sap green over here. So basically, I'm just like repeating everything with each of these um, spaces. Um, and this is my blending brush, blending up into the dry. Then I'm cleaning my green brush and grabbing some leaf green. I really like this yellow with the green. It's really pretty. I was considering maybe adding orange, but I just, I really wanted to just stick with yellow and green. I felt like that would look really pretty, like these colors together. I'm gonna add a little bit of green up here. Oh good, Hannah. I'm glad you're you're um well. Um hi Rachel. She says, love your tutorials. I learned so much from your videos. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm glad you, you learned so much. That's all I could ask for. Okay, where was I? Oh, I was like over here. <laughs> I was like, what was I doing? Okay, um, yeah, I'm adding some sap green down here. Swishing to my blending brush, blending this up. I'm trying not to blend too much. Like I don't want this to be like a perfect gradient. I want it to actually look like there are trees and stuff back here. So I'm trying to be intentional about that. Um, cleaning my brush that had green, grabbing leaf green from Holbein and dabbing some of that in. And a little bit up here. Um, and then grabbing some yellow with my brush that I use for yellow. Okay. Hannah says, I wish I can paint again. I I did pass my board exam that I'm working now. Oh no, you sound busy. Hopefully you can um, find time soon to paint. Okay, and then now onto the last section, I'm adding sap green. Switching to my blending brush. OK, 
Okay, um, and then I'm cleaning my brush that had sap green, grabbing some leaf green from Holbein, adding that in. Cleaning that brush, grabbing some yellow. All right, now I'm cleaning all my brushes. <laughs> the background is basically done. Um, we might add a little bit more once we have the trees painted in, and it just depends on how it looks. Um, hi, Julie. Julie says, it looks good. Thanks. I hope yours is looking good. Um, Hannah says, is that a size 8 brush? This here is a size eight. Um, I, I, I was using it to like blend my paint a little bit. Okay, um, since we're like halfway through, let's go ahead and do the artist spotlight, guys. Um, so if you're new to my channel, every time I go live, I spotlight one of you guys. So it could be one of like any one of you here. You want to see who it is okay so um this is the second part of this live tutorial because the first part um like ended un unexpectedly so her instagram is not linked in the description yet if you're watching live it's linked in the first part um so um okay i'm bringing up her instagram you ready? You ready, guys? Oh, wait. Um, anyways, here she is. Freya, wildlife drummer girl on Instagram. Freyma, Fre Freya. <laughs> um, she did my autumn forest tutorial. Isn't that beautiful? Like, wow. Um, and she also did my fungi challenge that was going on last month. And she has lots of beautiful nature photos. So yeah, if you guys want to support her, she is wildlife drummer girl on Instagram. Um, and I will link her Instagram below in the description of this video. Um, but if you want a chance to be featured in one of these live tutorials, all you have to do is use my hashtag Alice in Lane Art Tutorial on Instagram um, when you finish your tutorial that you do of mine. <clears throat> wow, I can't talk. Um, <laughs> then you might have the chance to be featured. Okay, uh, let's continue. All right. There we go. Just trying to set up my camera again. Here. There we go. Yeah, she has beautiful work. Really beautiful work. Julie says, learning. Love to watch your tutorials. Yay, thank you, Julie. All right, now it's time to actually paint these trees, which I am really excited about. Okay, so if you look at the reference photo, um, these trees are white, but if you really look at them, they have like blue and gray, maybe a little bit of brown in them. So um, for the first layer, it's going to be very light. We'll mix um, like a, a very light gray and a very light brown. Okay. So... I am going to take my size four on brush here. And first I'll mix a, a light gray. So for my gray, I'm using Payne's Gray. 
Payne's Gray would be perfect for this painting because there's like a blue hue in these trees and Payne's Gray has like a blue tint to it. So I'm, I'm adding some Payne's Gray right here to my palette. Lots of water. So I'm like loading this brush up and adding water. Um, I kind of added way too much actually, way too much paint. So it's gonna take a while to make this light. <sighs> okay, and then I'm gonna take some uh, titanium white from Daniel Smith and mix this in. This will help me mix a gray. I, I like to mix grays like this. You could also just have a ton of water and like very tiny little bit of Payne's gray and that can make like a, a very light gray. Okay, so I think this is fine to start out with. And then I'm gonna take what's in my brush. Uh, I need to clear off one of these wells. Okay, we'll uh, put it over here, clean my brush. And then I'm going to grab some Burr Umber to make like a, a light grayish brown. Right, so um, yeah, I have like this light gray brown and this gray hair. So we'll start with that. Sally says, just started painting with watercolors and I'm having difficulty with water and paint ratio, but loving the art. Well, I, I'm so glad you're learning watercolor. Watercolor is amazing. Um, and yeah, it, it does take time to learn water to paint ratio. It just takes a lot of practice. Um, so for instance, I... For, for these light colors in the first layer on these trees, I, I added a lot of water because I want the, the paint to be light. So I try to add a lot of water to them. It also helps to like test out your paints on like a scrap piece of watercolor paper so that you, you can see if you need to add more water or more paint. All right, I'm gonna start over here. Okay, I'm kind of nervous. Um, so I'm just gonna add some of this gray in some areas. Take my blending brush. So the, this is like the, the more brown gray, kind of blend. So I'm just trying to add some depth to these white trees. Adding a little bit here, blend. It's important to not paint these trees too dark. We want to keep their, we, we want them to look like they're actually white. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just kind of adding some dimension to these white trees. This, this might actually be kind of hard. Painting white things is difficult, at least for me. Okay, blending up. So I'm not adding this to like every single area on these trees. I, it's important to keep some of the white of your paper unpainted. Okay, I'm gonna switch to another brush. This brush I will dedicate to this gray right here. So I'm gonna grab some of that gray. And I'm gonna add some here and blend. This is my brush that just has water. Yeah, this is the first layer. In the second layer, we will add the detail. And then we might do a third layer if we need to. All right, now I'm going to move on to this tree right here. So 
this one is behind this tree. And so because of that, I want to make this one a little darker right here so that we can distinguish between the two well. So I'm kind of blending this down with my blending brush and then up. Um, I'm going to add some over here. Blend up. And then, let's see, I'm going to add some like here. Okay, now I'm going to set this brush aside. Grab this brush here that I used for this gray brown. Sarah says, loving your painting, Allison. Thank you. Glad you're liking it. So yeah, I'm just kind of adding this brown in some areas. A little bit over here. I just kind of uh, smudge some of my green, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna grab my brush that I use for this gray. I feel like I kind of like having gray along the edge of these traits. I feel like it kind of just defines them more. I, I might jump uh, to this one, like back to this one. Maybe add a little bit of gray here. This painting is turning out harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? You think it's going to be easy and then it's not. <laughs> the background was, was easy. Now this, I'm like, ooh, I hope I'm painting this okay. I'm going to add some more dark gray right here. I feel like though, once we add the detail to these trees, it'll just come together and look way better. Kelly says, just jumped into this live tutorial. Great work. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to move on to this tree down here. I'm going to add some gray at the bottom and then I'm blending this up yeah I'm thinking like the bottom of these trees will be darker like the background it'll just really help give our trees depth or like our painting depth um okay so I jumped back to this Okay. Andrea says, I'm so late. Hello, everyone. Hi, Andrea. Yeah, those of you guys who are just joining, 
uh, this is part two because part one, the live stream ended abruptly. So, um, if you want to do this tutorial later, you'll have to find the, find part one and then go back to this one. <laughs> Technology. I've been having so many technical difficulties lately. Ugh. Okay, I'm, I still need to add some of that uh, grayish brown. So I'm gonna add some of that over here. But before I do, I, I need to figure out what I'm, what I'm going to do with this because I messed up. So I'm gonna take this brush here that just has some water and I'm gonna try and lift this up. This is one thing you can do if you mess up. <laughs> I feel like it's working a little bit. All right, so we'll let that dry first before we before we add any more um, paint to that area. And then I'm, I'm going to grab some of that grayish brown and add that blend. Blend. Christine says, I'm not painting along because I have to go to work soon, but this is looking awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. I just want to add the detail already. I'm so impatient, but I need to trust the process, you know? It's so hard to do that. <laughs> I don't know if, if any of you guys can relate. So yeah, I moved on to this tree and I'm adding some of this gray brown in areas since I have it in my brush or is it since I'm using this brush right now. And I may add some over here. Then I'll add some like up here. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my gray brush and add some gray now. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more down here because I, I want it to be darker. Okay, I'm going to move back to this tree, add a little bit more here. So, sometimes I do jump around as I paint, <laughs> if I think of something. Okay, 
Okay. So what have you guys been working on lately? What have you painted this week or um, last week if you haven't painted yet this week? Yesterday I, uh, I painted a moth and I, I vlogged a little bit. I'm going to jump over here back to this area where I messed up. It's dry. Um, anyways, I painted a moth yesterday. Um, I took a, a self-care artist day yesterday and I, I vlogged through it too. So that, that will be up next week, one week from today. And, uh, yeah, I painted a, a Spanish moon moth, which turned out pretty good, I think. I'm jumping back over here a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to add some more gray down here. All right. Moving on to this one. So this one, this tree is probably the focal point and we'll probably add the most detail to this tree because of that. It's a focal point because it's like the largest one. And I intentionally put it on a third of this painting. So if you divide this paper into three parts, like here and then here, it is on a line. I won't get into that, but it's it's like, uh, it's called the rule of thirds, I which is used for like photography and um, painting and art and stuff. So yeah, so this one you will probably spend the most time on. Okay. And now this is important. So this tree is in front of this tree. This tree, we, we want it to be kind of dark on this side uh, because this one is in front. I hope that makes sense. So over here on this tree, over here, we want it to be light. So try not to add too much darkness over here. You'll see what I mean here in a second. <laughs> okay, and I'm kind of blending this up. All right. And then I'm gonna add some of that gray like over here. Just blend. Okay, um, I'm gonna add some gray Go over here a little bit. Oh, okay. I, I kind of have anxiety right now. <laughs> Fear that this live stream will abruptly end like the first part did. Oh, it's hard for me to like relax. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to take that grayish brown and then add some of that. a little bit in the middle in some areas 
Okay, let's go ahead and move on to this one. Hannah says, your moth is beautiful. So glad you took a day for you. Thank you, Hannah. Sarah says, today I painted my sage painting and the mushrooms with leaves painting, but we'll probably finish them tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, I'm grabbing some gray. Now, that this is what I was talking about a few minutes ago. So this tree back here, we want to add kind of like a dark darkness right there to help make these trees stand out from each other. And then I'm blending. And yeah, I'm gonna add some over here a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump to this one because I know that I, I also wanna add gray here. Basically all all the way up. All right, um, and then I'm gonna jump back to this one. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my grayish brown color and add some of that. Rachel says, can't wait to see your vlog. I tried painting the blueberry, the blueberries. My first time painting fruits. Ooh. Did you like that tutorial? I, I really liked that one. And the strawberry one. That strawberry tutorial I, I really liked. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that vlog. I think you guys will really like it. It was fun to, to make. I'm gonna add some grayish brown over here now. Yeah, I feel like I haven't vlogged a lot lately and that, that was just refreshing to do. I really missed it. And I feel like vlogs helps me, vlogs helps, vlogs help me like connect with you guys more, I feel like. Or just talk to you which I I find to be really fun and I really miss that okay I'm gonna add some this gray brown to the outer edge All right, I'm cleaning my brushes. Now we're on to the, the exciting part of this painting. This is like when everything will come together and our trees will actually look like trees. All right, so we're going to move back to this one here, the very edge. And if you look at, um, Photos, photos, if you look at this, 
the reference photo. Um, you'll see like, it kind of has details that look like eyes. <laughs> um, and they're like really dark gray, like a grayish blue. So I'll be using paints gray. Um, and it looks like there could be a little bit of brown here and there too. So I'm going to mix a paints gray or like add paints gray in my palette. So I'm taking Payne's Gray from Daniel Smith. I think I'm going to add it over here. And I'm not going to mix a lot of water in this because I do want it to be dark. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use what's in this brush and mix it over here. Because I, I want to mix a gray that is in between this and that lighter gray we were just painting with. So I'm just adding some more paints gray to this to make it a little darker. Like so. And I'll add a tiny bit of water to it, but not too much. Um, Tanya, hi. She says, so pretty. This is my first time watching you live. Did you change the day from Fridays? I did, yes. I, I now go live every other Thursday. And the Thursdays that I'm not live, I will come out with a pre-recorded video for you. Yeah. Um, well, I'm glad you're here. Okay. Here we go, guys. Are you guys ready? This might be kind of challenging. So actually, let's move to a, a small brush. So I'm going to be moving to my size two round. Okay, and I'm gonna first start with that lighter gray that we mixed. All right. Hi, Mir Miriam. Miriam, hi, how are you doing? And I need to tilt my paper tad. Okay, here we go. So, <laughs> I'm really nervous. I hope this turns out okay. Um, so I'm just kind of drawing this first line here like so. And then I'm going to switch to my size four round and blend a little bit, not too much like that. Okay. So just take, take your time. Um, if you're watching the re the replay, feel free to pause if you need to. If you're not, you can always catch the replay. Um, and then pause it or just pause this live stream. You, you can also do that. So basically I'm going over my uh, lines from the outline. <laughs> okay. I apply with this brush here, some paint. I blend with this one. This one has just a tiny bit of water in it. And then I'm also adding some more detail that I didn't in the outline. So I'm adding some lines, uh, maybe some like dots, like little spots. If, if you look at the reference photo, there are like lines and spots. I'll probably add more of, the, of those later. Let's just kind of paint in these lines here. Okay. Miriam says, my voice is soothing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Sometimes I feel like my voice is annoying. <laughs> okay. I really 
hope this painting turns out. I'm not very confident today. I feel like I have days where I'm just not confident in my art. Okay, I'm gonna move this a little closer so you guys can see the detail more. Okay, here we go. This is funny because these are these look almost exactly like eyeballs. Okay. This part isn't so bad, I guess. Yeah, probably after I do this to every tree, I will go back over again and add more detail. Maybe a little bit more shading so that the trees won't look so flat. Okay, moving on to this one here. Yeah, this little one I'm not too worried about. It's like not one of the trees that we're focused on. It's more just there for the composition. So it's not like the focal point. So this one I might not um, add as much detail. Hannah says, I'm back, just finished eating. Yay, you're back. Is it lunch for you or is it dinner? Hannah says, late dinner. Are you uh, located, let's see, like in Europe somewhere? Or on that side of the world somewhere? <laughs> where, where are you from, Hannah, if you don't mind answering? I find it just really fun to to see where everyone's from. Okay, um, as I get down here, I'm just gonna add a little bit, a little bit of detail. Oh, the Philippines, nice. That is a late dinner for you then, wow. <laughs> Okay, moving on to this tree. Now this one will probably have more detail in it because it's bigger.
Okay. I think I want to add something here, like a line. You look at mine here. Okay. This painting, like, I'm realizing it takes a lot of patience. <laughs> a lot of patience. This is the kind of painting that you need like music to listen to some music. Or like if it's a rainy day, listen to some rain or something. I feel like this is starting to look a little better. I'm, I'm feeling better about it. I wasn't feeling very confident. I'm still using that darker gray. It's, it's not like the darkest, like the paints gray. It's like in between that light and dark gray. So I, I will be going back in with um, just the paints gray, adding more detail. to the next. I can't tell if I have something here or not, but I'm just going to add one of those eyeball shapes.
So do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Let me know in the chat box. Um, I don't have very many plans. There's a, a lot of cleaning I want to do. And I should probably do some yard work to get ready for the winter. Since it'll be here before we know it. <laughs> Wow, this uh, tutorial is taking way longer than I thought, thought it would. I was thinking like an hour. <laughs> it's almost two hours. Crazy. This is fine. We're almost there. Rachel says, these trees are looking good. Thank you. All right, moving on to, the, to this big one here, the one that is probably the focal point. Okay, here we go. Sarah says she is going food shopping tomorrow and it says that we'll be catching up on Allison's tutorials over the weekend. <laughs> Yay! Well, I hope you have a good weekend painting. Kina says, for a second, I thought you were painting eyes. <laughs> I know these spots are on, like on the tree. They look like eyeballs. Isn't that funny? Rachel says, I think I might try the strawberry tutorial tutorial this weekend. 
Yeah, you you would love that one if you enjoyed the blueberry tutorial. That's probably one, like, the strawberry one might be, like, one of my most favorite tutorials on my channel. That, I'm trying to think of some other ones that are my favorites. The fox one, that, that one ended up being probably the longest tutorial I've ever done here on YouTube, but it was, um... It, it was a good one, like, like a very good one for my channel. Because you got to see, like, it is basically a lot like my paid tutorials. Um, what are some other ones that I like? I really like my Bluebird one. That one is maybe a year and a half old. And then my chickadee one. Yeah, I really liked that one. And my uh, eucalyptus wreath. And then the butterfly I painted in the middle of that wreath. I, I like that tutorial too. Okay, painting another eyeball here. Okay, moving on, these ones won't be um, as detailed, just going to quickly paint in these lines and eyes. Dad, my blend, my blending brush. Oops, that did not work out how I was thinking. Kind of soaking some of that up. What was I doing? Oh my goodness, wiping away. All right. Hi, Sky. I'm 
so sad about this tutorial that um, the first part like ended. Seems like not like hardly anyone knows I'm live right now. <laughs> it's so sad. But those of you here, thank you for being with me during this. <laughs> It would be very lonely without you. I don't know what happened here. Okay, I want to wipe some of this away. All right. All right, I should not have done that. See, learn from my mistakes. Let's just wipe away and then try again here in a second. Okay, at least once. Yeah, I'm not gonna add as much detail because this one here is the one that I want to add the most. <laughs> Rachel says, just think of it like a VIP tutorial after party. <laughs> Good idea. VIPs only. All right. One more. We're so close. Yeah, we'll do this last one. And then we'll add more detail to them and be done. Miriam says, we should be the ones to thank you for these Amazing life tutorials. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. Going live is is so fun. It's it's kind of like we're all friends and painting together. I love it. Oh my gosh! I don't know what I'm doing. What is what is this? Yeah, two, usually two hours in, I start to like get a little, I don't know, restless, just like, I don't know. My, my brain starts to become spaghetti, <laughs> but we'll push through. Okay. Cause yeah, I, I take breaks when I paint guys. Like if I'm not live, I, I take a break every 40 minutes. Like I get up and walk around. I can't sit and paint for hours. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I don't take breaks during live streams. It was kind of like after two hours, I just start to dwindle a little bit. Okay.
Um, this guy says, are you using a reference photo or just memory and imagination? A reference photo, which if, okay, you're, you're watching live. So <laughs> this is the, we, we had um, a mishap with the first part of the live stream. So I had to start a new one and this is the new one. So in the first part of the birch tree tutorial, part one, is the reference photo linked. I linked it in the description um, of that video. But if you're, if you're watching the replay of this one, I, I will have already linked it in, in this video. So I'm sorry if that sounds confusing, but anyways, yeah, I, I use references always, almost always, always, always. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. It's good to use reference photos. I'm going to kind of maybe add a little outline here. I'm just kind of experimenting. See how I like it. I, I think I like it. <laughs> just trying something out spontaneously here. No problem. Yeah, I think I like that. So I might, I might just add it all the way down. Okay. I think I might do the same thing over here. Okay. All right. Um, oh, and yeah, I do want to add a line here then. There. <laughs> All right. Um, now let's add more detail. I need some water. Uh, Tanya says, yes, your videos are so helpful. I just started watercolor, so I've been watching your videos and playing with my supplies. Well, that's exciting. I'm so glad you're learning. Watercolor is amazing. I love it. Uh, man eating mink says the trees have eyes. They do, don't they? <laughs> Sarah says the painting is looking great. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, I'm gonna take my size two brush. Yeah, this is Payne's gray. I'm reactivating it. It kind of dried on my palette, and I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. So for this Payne's gray, we do not want to add too much water. Only enough to make this easy to apply. Okay. This guy says, thank you. Just asking because I am terrible at art without reference pictures. Yeah, they do use reference photos. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So I'm going to go over each tree now. Um, add some spots to them, maybe add some more lines. So I'm going to add like a spot there and here, like that. And I'm going to grab my size four round. It just has a tiny little bit of water in it, kind of dabbing at those spots. Okay. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm just going to kind of wipe that away. Wipe away. If you don't like something, just take some water and wipe away. I don't like it. Okay. No spots. I'm, I'm going to not do spots right now. So change of plans. I will add a little bit of this dark paint gray to some details. Like so. Okay. Um, 
Rachel says, sorry, I'm super late. Looks awesome, Allison. Thank you, Rachel. That's okay. I'm glad that you could at least make it. Right, I'm gonna move on to this one. And some detail. And this one here. Um, this guy says, Trees actually have eyes, right? I mean, I don't know how you call them in English, but in my language, we do actually call part of the tree eyes. There's a part where, where you splice the tree, I think. Um, I think, honestly, I don't know, but I mean, I, I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hannah says, thank you, Allison, for this for another fun tutorial. You are awesome. And this looks amazing. I have to step out. It's been so fun painting along with you. Oh, thank you, Hannah. I'm glad you liked it. Have a good day. Okay. So yeah, when I add this detail, I'm not really blending too much unless there's something that I don't like and I want to kind of blend it out. Okay, I might add a little bit of dark gray here. Okay. I'm jumping back over here. I do that a lot. All right. Um, and then I'm going to move on to this tree. Now I kind of want to paint eyes. <laughs> after, after painting the, these birch trees, are you like, okay, now I want to paint some eyeballs, like actual eyeballs. And I usually don't paint eyes. I don't think I've ever painted eyes with watercolor, at, at least human eyes. I've painted animal eyes, obviously. I paint animals, but yeah. Rachel says the eyes are where side branches used to be. Some trees 
self-prune branches that don't get enough light, when those drop, the eye forms where the branch was. Thank you, Rachel, for sharing that. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't, I, I kind of was thinking maybe it was that, but I wasn't sure. It's really cool. Now on to these ones. Now these I'm not going to spend as much time on. Almost there. Who here has been here the entire live stream? If you have, I just want to applaud you. We're going over two hours. Crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of looking over this now. Oh my gosh, I just messed up. <laughs> I just dropped my brush on my paper. Okay, guys, here's how you fix that. You take a brush with just some water. Kind of like wipe it away. Either like wipe it off or like kind of blend it into what, what you have depending on the color of the paint. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's a sign I've been painting for too long at a time. Anyways, I'm just kind of looking at my painting and trying to see what else I want to add. Um, I feel like I could add a lot more, but we're, we're already going way over. Um... But I feel like this is kind of bare over here. Maybe I'll add like an eye somewhere. <laughs> like here. Um, yeah, add some detail here. Um, anyways. What do you guys think? I mean, I feel like I, I could definitely spend more time on this but um like if if I could I would maybe add some more shadow like underneath these eyes <laughs> or like bulges in the trees like add a little bit more shadow under them I would probably add more spots and details on the trees um yeah so let me give you a close-up here. Okay. 
All right. I'm, I want to say a proper goodbye to you. Um, okay. I'm so sorry for the live stream mishap. Um, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Thank you if, th thank you for joining me for this, uh, um, try number two for this birth tutorial. Liz says, oh wow, looks wonderful. I am at work now and we'll be back up to watch again. I also want to do the autumn forest plus some hens if I'm not busy today. That sounds like a good painting day at work, Liz. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. I like it. Oh, here's a pumpkin. This is a tutorial here on my channel. <coughs> Guys, that we did, what, a month ago? Um, Rachel says, thanks, Allison. Another great tutorial. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching um, this live and you wanna do actually do this tutorial, um, on your own time, not during during this live stream. Um, you can find part one. There is a part one. Um, this is part two because I was having trouble. But there is a part one that you'll want to start out with. And um, yeah. Sun, moon, hi. Uh, Anna says, don't, apo don't apologize. Life happens. Technical problems happen. It's okay. We just appreciate you teaching us and doing what you're doing for us. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. That means a lot. Um, Liz says technical difficulties due to Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I don't think of that. Um, and she says we'll be going direct, direct on Monday. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why I'm having trouble. Yep. All right, guys. I wish I could hang out longer, but it's lunchtime. I'm starving and I need a break. But um, next Thursday, a week from today, there will there will be a vlog for you. I'm really excited for this vlog. Um, so you can look forward to that. It's um, basically a day in my artist's life where I took a self-care artist day and it was a lot of fun to, to make for you. And then in two weeks, you can catch the next live stream like this one here. Fingers crossed we won't have any technical difficulties um, then. But anyways, bye guys. Take care. Don't forget to use my hashtag Allison Light Art Tutorial on Instagram and share your birch trees. I love to see them. Um, and yeah, take care guys. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Bye, Sarah, Liz, Anna, Sun, Moon, Rachel, Hannah. Did I say Hannah already? <laughs> Sky. Who else? Tanya, Miriam, uh, Sarah, I said you already. Bye, guys. Christine, Andrea, Kathy, Feli, Rachel, Julie. Take care. See you later.